What's up, guys? This is Andy, and this is the Fresno State Coronavirus Dynasty. Back with another installment. This one is, as the last couple have been, or mixed in here and there, this one's YouTube only. I really wanted to get a video out, but I don't have a spare few hours where I can say, hey, nobody call me. No work, no nothing. That's just, it's a bit tough right now, but like I said, I wanted to get a video out in a timely manner. It's been about six days since the last one I got out, I believe. And I'm actually excited to get through the season and see if we can get to the national championship. Legit, I'm, I'm pumped to see because I feel like our team is super good. I feel like uh, the style of play, especially of my offense, it's, it's kind of low risk, kind of medium reward with McDade and his running. It's been a unique season in that way. He's in the Heisman race. A lot of fun stuff going on. And uh, like I said, a little tough to stream, which I enjoy. I enjoy seeing you guys' comments. I enjoy the tips and tricks and comments, you know, as I play. That's that's a lot of fun. But sometimes we got to do it this way, too. So we're going to get it going. Yeah, McDade's in the Heisman. He's playing really well. I mean, it's... I haven't entirely adjusted to that play style because you'll still see that I do things like throw interceptions where I would expect somebody like Uncle Rico or Derek Carr to throw a better pass. McDade doesn't quite have that consistency. He still has errant throws, even even being highly rated and having the impact dot. He still has some errant throws downfield, and that has resulted in a couple of picks that I normally wouldn't have thrown. But overall, I'm still forcing the ball downfield less. So I'm still throwing fewer picks than I normally would with a better passer. I'm just having fewer results overall in the passing game. But that gets traded out for uh, results in the running game. So today, Oregon State comes to Bulldog Stadium. 1-8 and eight on a seven-game losing streak. Let's do a pre-scout on them. Let's see, do we have anybody coming in? Oh, look at this, we do. List of coaches he wants to play for. All right, that is Coach Prestige. Football tradition, that's Program Prestige. That looks like it. So, oh, sorry, Hayden the second. Our other guy, Hayden, that was a beast. We didn't quite use him to his full potential. Let's check out Oregon State. QB. And we, somebody was t talking about this. I forget who it was. Forgive me, but the, the fact that teams have tons of quarterbacks the farther you get into these dynasties in 07. Not sure why that is. Demetrius McNeil. That's <laughs> They have tons of QBs and none of them are that good. That's they're all Look at this. Redshirt seniors. They had one class. One, two, three, four. With four, four QBs. This guy's never played. This guy's played a little bit. That is funny. And they're all recruits. The, the other thing I was looking for, oh, you know what? Okay. I guess you can't really tell if they're JUCO. I'm not sure if they would have NA for the two years they were in junior college or if you only get NA if you didn't record any, uh, any stats. Not sure. Their running back is out. So they're with an 80, an 80 overall, 86 speed, six foot three. Interesting. Receivers, not much to write home about. So, wow, slow too. My goodness. Not a lot going on here on offense. What about tight end? Not much going on at tight end. So, are these guys going to score against me? I mean, I, of course they probably will. But they do not have weapons. They have no weapons. What about defense? So tackle, actually, look, let's look at depth chart now. There's nothing going on there. Major mismatch. Another major mismatch. So on the ends, I have major mismatches. I mean, inside I do too, but outside even more so. Defensive end, so D-line. D-line's okay. Left end, right end. I mean, for Heisman, it's okay.
Yes, we are scouting out Oregon State. Had to step away for just a moment. Looking at their defense. Yeah, we <laughs> were lucky here. I don't actually did they run a 3-4? No, it looks like they run a 4-3. Two starting D tackles. Yep, looks like they run a 4-3, so we're actually kind of lucky that only one of their dots will be on the field. This guy has a fair amount of tackles. 32 tackles. 48, 14. Oh, you know what? Because this guy's hurt, he'll actually be on the field. So, lucky them. Now at corner, okay, at corner they don't have very good players, but they do have some speed. We're not going to be outrunning them. Okay, here at free safety, this is a pretty good mismatch. This guy is not very fast, not very highly rated. Here, this guy can move much better. Not highly rated, but he can move a bit. So, overall, Oregon State does not look that strong. Based on their lack of talent at corner, I'm hoping that we can find some mismatches. We'll see what kind of defense they run, though. And if they, I've, I, I think I say this just about every week. I haven't done a great job of pushing the ball downfield when that opportunity presents itself. That is the kind of thing I need to do, though, if they're guarding up close. You know, the near stuff, cover two zone stuff like that. So let's get to it. Home game, Oregon State. and the coach, Lee Corso. It's a picture-perfect day as we get set for today's contest between the Oregon State Beavers and the Bulldogs of Fresno State. These two Pac-10 teams are fired up and ready to go in this late-season battle. And here come the Bulldogs. The Beavers may be overmatched and could have an ugly game on their hands. Any thoughts, Kirk? Fresno State has so many weapons offensively, but it all starts with their outstanding quarterback. Now against this defense, I look for him to have no problem spreading the ball around. This could be a career game. I gotta go with the favorite in this one. Yeah, I think they're right. Their secondary is just not that strong. All right, well, you heard it from Lee Corso himself. We'll see how that pick pans out. In the meantime, let's go to the coin. Hey, these are also the kind of games we've had issues with, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. Gotta be vigilant. Stay vigilant, stay woke. A lot of wind today. This has made for some very strange behaviors in the past. The most notable one I can think of is that uh, national championship game against uh, against Alabama. That was a crazy one. Just the weirdest stuff. The one that was the weirdest about that game to me, the th one thing was how they would be punting with the wind and somehow would shank it for like 15 yards when they had full wind at the back. It's so bizarre. Start with some cover one. Today we get to watch a we very we overmatch with basically every position. The, the head coach mentioned earlier in the week how important right, it is to have Smith. a good game. There's no doubt about it. He needs to play well today, but it's not going to be easy. He's going up against a very good <laughs> Not even the warp could save him there. You can have the corners, Kirk. All right, I'll let's stick with the cover one. This matchup any Second day of the week. He's a proven leader, and guard. he won't let his team down. Let's flip that. Oh, they actually ran it. Gosh, darn. That's almost first. Pretty good push here. Linebacker did not respond at all. You know, here's something I wonder, and I haven't messed with this too much. If we get to say here, and my linebackers, they're still they're still backpedaling. If I tap the stick for run commit, will they go for it? You know, will they will they uh, start to run up? I might have to experiment with that because I really don't know. Because that, you know, if you're talking about half a second difference in their reaction time, that would be a big improvement. They can't even get in the red zone. Nickel defense. They'll try to get the first on the ground. They'll bring him down at the top. It's okay, no break. They like came off the ball and just kept their feet moving and knocked them back. Good blocks and great running by the ball carrier also. The linebacker shift over a little. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now they're not having much luck at all. He steps up. Oh, we got that. Yes, I point that. Let's go, Darren Smith. 
Good start. Kind of a duck. Yep, that's why we got our linebackers. <laughs> nice animation. I, I, I was having a lot of trouble getting these kind of animations last game, if I remember right. Good one here, though. Also, I don't really run up to the ball. Like, I kind of stop, but then I take one step. See, if you if I just hit uh, if I just hit the interception button here, I'll, I'll do a bunny hop. But you have to take a step, at least one step. Boom, one step. Like I just do a little bit of movement. See, just just even that. That's my movement. A little bit, bit of movement to give you some momentum in that direction, and then go for the uh, go for the jump. Uh, double option. Let's start off with that. Why not? Okay, that alignment is not favorable. The bulldog set up in the gun. Here's an option, right side. First one. And they got I really had nowhere to go to the right because the dot guy. Well, I guess I did. I guess I could have just taken off with it. Hmm. Number 16 on the carry. Loss of two on the play. Second it's and second 12. down. Okay, a couple of plays of man here. Yard line. We'd like to stay in the pocket. If they blitz heavily, we'll go Hollis. Drops back to pass. Gosh, the dude, he did not. I had a precision pass. I get too antsy. This McMillan. corner is He's all over him. I, I get antsy and I precision pass because I don't want the corner to have a chance at picking it. Third down and 12. Let's see if they run man again. If they don't, it's going to have to be Harper on a deep post, I imagine. Looks to pass. Looks. Offsides. Uh, Defense looked like it jumped early there. Outside. On the defense. Five yard penalty. And this is frustrating because we have enough guys to block. But I couldn't even maneuver inside my line to get the proper amount of time to throw. So they oh they rushed five. I was thinking it was four, but they had one guy get taken out. <sighs> Man. Yeah, my pocket, <laughs> that's what's frustrating. My pocket presence is pretty good. I can't overcome that. Okay, I have to remember, too, Hollis is not going to walk. Get me on. Get me. Yep. Daniel. I think I actually got him on the point. I've been trying to do this forever. I actually got it. Watch. Who's that? Edwards? This guy. Yep. It's his hand. His hand is reaching across. First down. Let's go balance. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Not triple QB, QB option give. First First and ten. Ball it's all about reading that right defensive end because Haas is not going to block. Okay, well, they pinch in, so that makes it moot. So this should be clean for give to Hollis. We'll just see what that right side linebacker does. Oh, goodness. Well, that didn't matter, did it? No place to go that time, and the offense loses a yard or two. Nice job of plugging up all the gaps and the possible cutback lanes by the defense. I actually meant to do option pass. I did keep the slot option. Ball right around midfield. Pinch in. Fresno McMillan. State. This is dicey because if McMillan takes off, if I give it to him, and we have that dot in pursuit, that's that's a suboptimal situation. We'll read the linebacker. He stayed in. Let's go, McMillan. Just go out of bounds. And they push him out at the 35 yard I wanted the first, though. I wanted to go out of bounds, and I wanted to get the first. Defense. When this halfback is running the ball, I'd put a few more guys in the box there defensively to try to stop him. Let's see. What was the last play I ran? Oh, yeah, McMillan. Scurry in for a first. That's from Memphis. So one thing I have not really done too well is try to pick up on CPU tendencies based on down and distance. And I'm wondering if maybe they won't blitz very much here. Maybe it's, you know, later downs. And they certainly like to blitz in longer. Uh, now, goodness. Like third and long, you know, they blitz heavily before on that play. No doubt about it, Brad. Whenever you have a fast quarterback like this guy, it just adds another element to your offense. 
Okay, they're showing man. I wouldn't mind going Hawes here. Also go McMillan. If McMillan really looks like he's on an island, I'd like to go to him. I just think it's so much better to go to your top wideouts. Yeah, he kind of is. Got that. That's nice. See, how it opened was Hawes, though. Medium. He had all right position. Old faithful. This offense has done an unbelievable job getting points once they enter the red zone. That's right. These guys get it done better than almost anybody in the country. Hmm. I think that's going to stand. Yeah, that's two feet. Set up in the shotgun hmm. here by the goal line. Keep an eye on the quarterback. I wouldn't be surprised to see a draw here. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. I got concerned with getting away from this dot. Look at him come in like a homing missile. My goodness. So I start running to the left. Fortunately, I engage the non dot, but then I can't get enough of a bowling ball. Oh, we got a first, though, huh? Okay. I'll well, we'll take that. Yeah, let's do an actual. Let's do. Let's do some actual out run option here. How's about triple QB? Yeah, we'll give that a shot. Now, can we flip the direction on this? Oh, of course. Oh, freaking of course. I might get in anyway. Is it, how far is that guy going to move? Oh my gosh! Oh, I thought I was hoping I could get in just based on the fact I was in the zone. They got in too quickly, though. Oh, let's do this. Where's the PA read option? Here we go, PA read. McMillan, ha have we had McMillan run in for many touchdowns? Or like any at all? I, I don't think we have, so let's give him a shot here. I guess we're reading that left nickel DB. He's very red. Oh no, gosh darn it. I mean, the jumps kill me. Left tackle got blown up. Otherwise, that was an easy touchdown. Third down now, and goal to go. This is the 11th play of this drive. They spread out the defense here. Man, I like this call. Spreading out the defense near the goal line. Good call. Oh, come on. Damn it. He's tackled at the one. Didn't get anything. Well, I'm going to take the three. Per normal football strategy, you would go for it here. I would go for it here. But we have full momentum. And uh, I don't want to lose that. Because we don't just, you know, the, the trade off with the momentum is, is too much. Here we go. The kick is up, and he got it. And now we're going to take a look at the yeah, Pontiac get it. it's just, this is bad times. Fresno State. And even though it's only Oregon State, I can't risk it. I've gotten into too many dicey situations lately against inferior opponents. I don't want to keep that trend up. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. The offense will take over. I wouldn't mind another multiple INT game for Darren Smith. The Beaver. I feel like it's in play right now. Nice. Sullivan. Got him. Just didn't block out there. Didn't rotate out either. Got to kick out. This is what's nice. This is ideal. Like when, as a defense, when you can get pressure with your front four without blitzing, you pretty much have the offense right where you want. With three wide receivers, the Beaver line up with a single set back to you. He drops back, throws it out there. He's taken down at the 20. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Okay, I guess I need to have a finger on the, uh, the pass commit. Comes out of the dime package. 
Surveys the field. Ooh, get there. The yeah. bring him down. Get a hand up. I guess I could have taken control. I had faith though. Because he had position, so I was really hoping that he would he would get a hand up, but he didn't. What does he do? He goes for like a lean, this weird like lean animation. Because that's not a tackle. He doesn't have the ball yet, so it's that's not a tackle animation. He goes from a lean into a tackle. Strange. Toss left. I feel like these often go for a toss. Six defensive backs. McNeil drops. McNeil passes. <laughs> they pulled the Devontae right there. I don't appreciate that. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. Cover two. We'll try cover two. You know, I as as uh, Corso likes to say, they smell blood. They go in for the kill. It's like I have the initial first blood of that first pick. I want more. Is that even a pass or is that a run? That was okay. That was forward. On their own, 48-yard line. Second down. The defense is playing the pass on this one. Looks to pass. Steps up. Down the middle. The senior nice. makes the catch. He ran a good-looking route. Parkhead is getting that and work right on. And he made a good catch. That short passing Third game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in yards. pay off. Okay, if they beat this for a first, I'm going to have to start playing more zone because I don't want to give up a touchdown. I mean, I want to get off the field. I don't want to give up anything, to be honest. Darn it. Okay. Oh, I'll get that. We're on that. Yep. Nice. The punch out. Got the hand in there. Oh, is it a fumble or is it not? Oh, that's out. I like this. I like this. It's funny. Ball, ball somehow gets stuck in space, and the man keeps going. We'll take it, though. I do like this P.A. replay. It's first Bulldogs take over at the 46-yard line. First and 10. Okay, here it really looks to me like if Dot linebacker blitzes, we just lob it out to McMillan. He did. Oh and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Left guard, freaking truck. McMillan had a man on him anyway, so that's okay. Loss of six on the play. Trying to make me read. From their own. Are we asking for trouble here? This looks like man. Fresno State lines up with three receivers. Goodness. Rolling out to the right side. Oh, McMillan, wide open. Dang it, dude. If, this is so frustrating. Like, that's a good – he got the he got the ball out there. But, dude, if you lead him more, throw it, like, here instead, that's a touchdown. McMillan's fast. Although, another thing I wonder is look how the DB closes space. So, here, here's another thing that I don't probably consider enough, and instead I just get triggered. Is the ball, is the pass, does the pass not lead the receiver enough, or does the DB have just ridiculous catch up speed? Because that's something I don't often think about. Because, of course, they have ridiculous catch up speed. It's, uh, it's Heisman. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 40. Number 16 with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Number 16. Oh the bullet to the right. I think I threw that off my back foot accidentally. Yep. Didn't mean to do that. I was asking for trouble there. That could have easily been picked. You know, the I just have to abandon that against the zone. There. This is just a great play That's fine. defensively. I think he underestimated Second the speed of the defensive Ball player. On the he just shot line. in. And so did they blitz that play? Oh, let's see. One, two. Yep, they blitzed. They rushed six. And magically cover everyone. I guess that's that's another place if you're on defense, you, you have the offense right where you want them, is uh, the aforementioned if you can get pressure with your front four without blitzing, or if you can rush six and still cover everything downfield flawlessly. Fresno State good. lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. He unloads it. 
Got it to the senior. Bell brings him down at the 30. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First down, 10 to go. Arizona. Ball on the 30. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. He looks. He rolls out to the right. Let's it fly. Bad. Oh, got him. I was really afraid that safety was going to come up and uh, jump the route. But fortunately, he's not that good. Oh, wow. DB got closer to that than I thought on the uh, – he tried to pick that because I did bullet it. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. That was over his head. They'll line up for the extra point. Was anybody else open? Probably not. Harper, not really. So we could try to hit McMillan here. Then again, pass blocking just doesn't quite hold up. That was better than a lot of the other plays have been, though. Dude, freaking Mills. A third-year player, no, he still hasn't improved much and has no composure. He splits the uprights for oh, the extra man. point. That's more It'll be interesting to see if, though, if, uh, let's see. Van McDay's a junior, so he could go pro. That would leave the reins in the hands of Marcel Mills. Which I wouldn't mind. Look at the arm talent. It would be an interesting offense. It would be like, I mean, almost equivalent to the Carr or Uncle Rico offense, but with more mobility. It's a booming kick. Jones from his own end zone. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. Ball They'll take over. Yeah, I guess that's two turnovers we forced. I don't think we've made him punt, have we? The Beaver come out in the ace formation. We'll get there. Oh, yes. Yes. Number two. Wow. I didn't think I was going to get there. Let's see what kind of celebration we can get. Oh, so did we get. Oh, okay. Hold on. He throws a wobbler. Hit on the throw. So it probably hung up there a bit more than I anticipated. Unfortunately, Edwards there did not get the bat down. All right, excellent. They'll get the ball here at the 34-yard line. First and 10. Okay, this will be interesting. If both safeties come up, this is pretty much the read. If both safeties come up, I want to go McMillan. Posts are generally not good against man, but I just I want to let that rip. Otherwise, maybe Harper. This is man. It's just a question of if the safety's come up. One does. Oh, no. Oh, McDade. <laughs> wow. How did I get out of that one? Okay, the guy actually kicked out for the block. Amazingly. And then let's look at this. Harper. No position. McMillan covered. We had, uh, we had other McMillan. Running back McMillan. He actually got loose against that dot linebacker. That was pretty fun. And I do like to talk about pocket presence, but hey, seeing those running lanes out of the pocket is part of pocket presence. All right, so good zone. It's probably McMillan here. Running back McMillan. It's man. He throws left. Oh, come back. Dang it. Yeah, he was kind of hung up there like a sitting duck. That's too bad. That'll bring up second down. Let's go here. Option pass. I'd like to. I'm thinking more run on this. They, they fly over there. Okay. The Bulldog. Come out showing three wide. So this is. I'm thinking keeper McDade. I really don't want to try to pass here. They go with the option. Get that. Yes. This is crazy how I break more tackles with him than I do running backs. Let's go double running back option. Let's do this. Okay, if I move Victor Dean, what do they do? They shift a little bit. I think I'll go ahead and give to McMillan here. Let's see what I can shake loose here. 
Oh, okay. I was not going to pitch there. For a loss on the play. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, so strangely, the against game. my uh, P. Reed flow, they don't bunch the line. They'll try to get it in from the five-yard line. Or they come out and they audible out. Like, look at all the red they're about to have. That's crazy. Anyway. The Bulldog come out in the shotgun. There it is. Got him. It's Hollis, another touchdown. Is there a car? When's Derek Carr Jr.? Quick review. I just want to see. Fast blocking held up. It was good. Victor Dean actually kind of open, but this dot man has front uh, position. So that's really bad. Probably a pick if I throw that. Anyway. Good times. And they line up for the point after. And for once in a blue moon, we are ahead in the first half. Is that a bad sign? I don't know. Should I be nervous? He makes the PAT. Just over five minutes now remaining in the second quarter. And the score, Fresno State 17, Oregon State nothing. Fresno State lines up for the kickoff. But I feel like we needed a game like this. We needed a game where we were up against a lesser and opponent a and we're able to actually do, you know, have a, have a dominant performance in the first half and really get out in front and then not have to sweat after that. It has been fun playing center field with Darren Smith. I don't do this a ton. Playing uh, deep safety in a man coverage. Bring in the nickel package. Jones, the ball carrier. Wilson tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Linebacker's reacted. Great defensive effort there. And let me tell you, the key to that play was right there in the defensive line. They tied this offensive line up and allowed the linebackers to come up and make a big play. I'll have to watch the left side a bit. Okay, never mind. They slid over. I was just thinking if it's play extra or something and those tight ends take off on routes. They uh, might have had a hard time keeping up, which would mean I'd shade that side to kind of help them out. Let's go with nine. They line up at the 15. It's third I miss going to football games so much. Just hearing the drum line and stuff just makes me just remember going to games. And I go to see the uh, it's actually junior college around here. Oh, look at that! Look at Brown. Is that Shannon Brown? Yeah, one of my, my favorite games to go to are actually the local junior college. It's so much fun. And they get a good crowd. I mean, relative to most junior colleges, they get a really good crowd. Lots of people show up. Most junior colleges don't get a lot of people. Pause. As soon as it's in there. Yes. I probably wouldn't do that against better defense. Showing off a nice little arm there, though. Dude, look at the zip on that. That looks faster in replay than it does in, in real time. I think I had my running back slightly more open there. That's okay. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice. Four wide, so Watkins actually gets on the field. So this I, formation, I guess, by default is strong slots. So we might go McMillan here. Here he comes. Oh, Watkins. Okay, we got a few. I really wanted to go to him, like, here. But I just had to wait for more clearance. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond him down the field. Let's go with this drive halfback corner. I don't second recall really five. running this play Ball ever. We've got second and goal. Number six. So if it's man, I could get Harper across the middle. I would just really like to hit McMillan or Harper for for a score here. It's so hard to get touchdowns with your receivers down this down distance. There it is. Oh no! <laughs> it went to Oz and he dropped it. Damn it! Oh man! I made the right read. To Harper, well, so I guess if Haas doesn't come up with it, let's just look, because I never run this. I guess I could have bulleted it. They're just not, they're straight up not guarding anyone. There are four guys running routes. Two of them are, are being guarded. And then Haas decides to go for the pick and then drop it.
Third it's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they also, can I can't be afraid to try to run it in here. Okay, their safety is in the zone. They line up in the gun, looking to spread out this defense a bit. Drops back to pass. Look. Oh, no. Under heavy pressure. They'll make the sack. They were bringing a heavy rush on that. Mm, were they? No, they were not, in fact, bringing a heavy rush. That's fake news. Then I rushed four. But two of my linemen got no kind of blocking. And you're just, look at this. Look at this line that they have. You're not, look at this. You're not going to complete anything on that. Not in the not in the end zone. I pretty much had to run it in, but by the time I recognized that, you could see him start to take off, but uh, they already had me. They'll line up with a field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. This kick will be about a 28 or 29 yarder. He gets it up, and it is good. So we take a moment to check. It's okay. We can pad our Groza campaign. Idridge is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it. Jones fields it in the end zone. This defense. So we have three picks already. And now you'll find out how the much Oregon faith they State got in this kid. Do they roll the football the or do they let her in? First and ten. Feeds it to the back. Juku gets attacked. Oh, we went for the strip. He's taken down at the 25. And they threw a flag risk reward. Let's see what the call is. But it's a risk reward that favors going for the strip. You don't get nearly enough face masks to make it worth worrying about. Now, I suppose if you're in a down distance where you definitely want to make a tackle and you don't want to risk that face mask penalty, like say they're running in the it's third down, you just don't want to get the first. You maybe don't go for that. Wow. Did, did he, he seemed to go down before my guy even hit him. Oh, well, this is visually uh, a little bit interesting there. Second down, 10 yards Ball to go. A 40 yard line. Oregon State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Gets the ball, not it. Oh, get that. <laughs> we tried. We tried. Unfortunately, our vertical is only about 60 inches. We needed about an 85 to get that one. Oh, no, he bunny hops. I don't even get an animation. Where is that animation? It's hard to tell. I kind of think that's not an animation. All right, we got lucky he dropped it. Okay, we'll go dime, cover one. We haven't failed with this yet. We haven't broken yet. We've bend, we haven't broken. We've bent. We've bended. There you go. <laughs> Oregon State. Go All right, we got action to the right. Let's go straight back. He drops back. He passes oh my gosh! Of course, insta pass. And they make the Help stop us. at the 48-yard line. And guys, you can just feel the momentum building with this drive. Well, That's their third first down line. on this drive alone, coach. Yep. We all know how important momentum is in college football. This defense really needs to step up and get some of it back. McNeil on play action. Let's it fly. Caught. Excellent open. Yeah, here field. you want to take manual nice control. This guy, he's goes. Hunter I is running. He has he's no concept of whether he has a play on the ball. Accurate. He's just running toward the receiver. But you know you're not going to defend the pass. You're better off peeling off, and you see I run upfield to take a better angle for the tackle. Otherwise, he's tackling him over here because he has to loop around instead of just cut him off. Those are little things where usering can make a big difference. Because, you know, there they didn't get a first down, whereas otherwise they, they may have. Oh, no, I got sucked in. Damn it. Look at this crap. I'm, like, trying to run, and I get warped over. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there. The vortex. Hey, this kid's a good looking All right. Actually, you know what? Let's go. Let's go to cover two now. Uh, there it is. Oh, no. I did commit. I was trying to do matchup stick and I accidentally committed. How bad did that look? <laughs> look, these guys run in, man. If this is a pass, that's bad times. All these dudes run in. All right, what are we trying to do here? We're trying to do this and that. And we're going to audible to cover two now. Second and ten. There we go. 
Okay, come at me, come at me, come at me. Oh, they did. Oh, nice. <laughs> that always works. Not enough reaction there. Oh, and I wasn't in any kind of position. He hit the little seam, hit that corner. That's going to be hard to beat. Two wide. Let's go back to the cover one. We've gotten one interception in direct man-on-man -man coverage. We've gotten two picks for my deep coverage. Come out in the ace formation. Okay, we're going to favor this left side a little bit. I don't trust my ability to get these tight ends. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Got lucky. Our guy sat on the route. You, I'm surprised my guys actually played good defense here. My, my own guys had telepathy, telepathy there. It's not usually the case. They're saying dying. I think they might be right. been very successful in converting these red zone trips into points. Wow, 52 percent red zone scoring. When you're down this close to the that seems just exceptionally bad. Yeah, but the defense isn't thinking that, Kirk. Oh, there we go. Got that. Wall, and this is where I was really hoping the they'd go for this crossing aggressive. route. This guy was coming That's way awesome free. Look at this guy right here. Boom. I had it too well covered, though. Instead, they went for the five yards in the backfield. Oh, I feel like cover one's kind of irresponsible here. We'll do it anyway. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful. The okay, we're going to leave that left guy kind of on an island. We're going to hang around middle to the right here. Oh, dude. Yeah, get there. Yes, we're taking that back. Hunter. Hoof it out, Hunter. Get the corner. Let's freaking go. Hoof it out. Keep going. We got it. Nice. Let's go, dogs. 103 yards. <laughs> oh, so I made a good choice. I was like, hey, this dude, we're leaving him on an island. We're leaving Edwards out there. He made me a genius. So do they have just no prospects? They're uh, to tackle me at this point. Their receivers are all slow. They don't have any speed on the field. Bink. Yep, they just have no speed. These guys don't take a good angle. So, more realistically, see, this is something I like about the game. This angle is not the best angle, but in reality, if you're a slow dude, you're you don't you're not doing like exact vector math on what your angle is, you know. And you're not a defender either. You're an offensive lineman. So to me, this is actually pretty realistic that they're going to take a more aggressive angle, and then not realize it till it's too late. And this is something that I feel like is a stark difference between these games and newer Maddens, for example, maybe even NCAs. You'll see guys take a better angle. So what, what you'd see is these guys get the pick. You'd actually, so these defenders, they're taking off for like around this area, right? Because they think that's there's some loose math. I don't know what the math is, but there's obviously some kind of estimation going on in the game that says they want to run here. Well, in the, in the new Maddens, you'll see them just take off. They'll actually aim for this spot. And then you just get this really goofy, unrealistic thing where you'll have you'll have not a lot of separation between the two between the the, the ball carrier and your defenders. They'll actually run side by side because what you'll end up with is you'll have this guy running it. You'll have the ball carrier running. Let's straighten this out so it's a little easier. You'll have the ball carrier running like this at this angle down the sideline as he should be. Then what, what you'll end up with is these guys run like this. So for like 10 yards or even 15 yards you're going to feel like you're actually within an arm's reach of the ball carrier, but you can't touch them. You have to stick with this very, very shallow angle. You can't take an aggressive angle. It's very unrealistic to watch, to play. It's just overall pretty uh, pretty frustrating. Anyway. And also, you'll see me a lot of the time, especially I'd say on like kickoff returns, punt return coverage, if I if if I'm on defense here, where are the where are those guys? Okay, oh, that's right. I'm looking at Oregon State players. I'll I'll take control of these guys and I'll start taking back here. You'll see that. You'll see me do that kind of thing a lot because the computer doesn't do it. And he tacks on the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Fresno State 27, Oregon State 103 yards. I don't think we've gone coast to coast too many times in this dynasty. Maybe like one other. I'm not sure. And Hunter's got 88 speed because I feel like a lot of times the guys that pick those off, safeties, linebackers, they're not the fastest dudes. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they go in for, for the kill. kill. Make it easy, coach. You're getting excited. Hey, that's right, sweetheart. I'm all oh, they benched the QB. Steps up, throws it to the outside. He's tackled at the 24. They threw four picks in one half. On the it's second down and four to go. Ball on the 24 yard line. You know what? Let's go cover two. 
The Beavers come out showing three wide. Oh no. Okay, we've got the tackle. I, it just threw me off because I saw the clock running down and I thought they were just going to run it. So I actually got sucked in. And let's see. Could I have gotten the tackle? Yeah, I would have gotten the tackle if you caught that. So they're going jumbo. We'll, uh, we'll play it fairly safe. So we could still get the ball back here. So I just want to guard the line here. I'm not going to rush in. Here's the give. Oh, gone. Oh, no. I went for the dive tackle. Did he register? Yeah, go for the dive. Oh, he's already he was already engaged in a tackle animation, so my dive was not uh, recognized. So I'll do it for the half. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 29. Nickel defense. We played two quarters and it hasn't been pretty. Our yeah. score, Fresno State. This is what I was hoping for. Oregon State, nothing. We, just, we have them overmatched and we were due for a game where we played better in the first half. Offense, not stellar, 158. Although, how many plays? So that's 13 runs, 12 passes. So that's 25 plays, 158 yards. That's not that many yards per play. Let's see, 12 attempts, 102. That's okay, actually. Two sacks, not ideal. McDade getting it done. Hollis, three for minus one, not good. Spreading the ball around here. I do like my top receiver to be my top uh, stat statistical receiver as well. That's nice. Hollis getting some, getting some action. It's you know, He's a backup, so he doesn't normally get a lot of that. Darren Smith getting work. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep it going. The and we're just about set to get things underway here, here in the, the second half. The second half. He sends it off. McMillan takes it at the eight. Oop, oop. I get excited when I see a hole on the field. Let's take the time to let you know turns. that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start at the 26 yard line. Yard line. Yeah, our offense is not exactly lighting it up. Lines up in it, a shotgun set. I don't know what the score would be if we didn't have all those turnovers. Back to pass. Okay, here we go. Oh no, we got, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. We cannot run this guy. No one open, so he's gonna run. Oh, nice. Down he goes. So let's see, this is a that zone. That's exactly no, man, so but they're just playing so loosely. It was hard for me to read it as man. First and ten. First Ball and on their ten. own thirty-seven. Ball on the thirty-seven yard line. Okay, let's get some yards for Hollis. This looks pretty good. Fresno State. I guess it'll depend on what this right linebacker does. Okay, we've got a little room. Yes. Oh, come on, Hollis. Here we go. And he's he's in the black at least. That'll be a seven yard Prior to that, he was what three carries minus one. That's not my favorite. Second it's second and three. three. Ball on the Super dive. Okay, we have an audible for uh, an option. I feel like we should use it since they're in Super Bowl. The Come out, show Double option. Wide. No formation change needed. Okay, so this is give left, run right. I'm thinking it's keep because they're pretty spread out. Here's the option. There we go. Ah, darn it. I mean, it looked like there was a hole and then there wasn't. So I guess I would have been better off running this way a bit, taking the hit from that gentleman, and then pitching it. So we got, what, a couple yards? Let's actually run that again. Pass play. Halfback wheel. Smash angle. It's third and one. Ball on the 46 yard line. Uh, what do we want to do here? All right, let's run the option. Let's run it again. Here we go. Yes. Dude. No. Damn it. That was weird. So I get excited. He breaks the tackle. I, I'm trying to just get up the sideline, and somehow I ended up just darting right back in bounds, straight into the defender. Defender. That's not what I was trying to do. First down. Ten to go. Ball on the 49. Oh, here's something I want to try. Shoutouts to. 
Tone Retro Gaming. How do you how do you soft juke? I'd never use it. Uh, let's see. Not controller. Controller layout. Juke left, juke right. Well, I guess it's not on here, but I think you can soft juke by just tapping the juke button. We'll have a look at that. Fresno State sets up with four receivers. I tried tapping it. Didn't really go anywhere. Loss of two. Okay, we want to keep this drive going though. Running back's tire. Let's go five wide. Gambler, yeah, let's gamble. Second, second down, 12. 12. Ball on the 49-yard line. So Hot Reed, Carter. We have McMillan out there on the island. We might just Line go to him. Five receivers. Back to pass. Looking, throws it to got the it. outside. I just got around him. And he shoved out of bounds. Okay, so third and medium, so third and five. Execute, move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, complete those short passes is the key. Let's see. Because it loves Let's go through receiver corners. Then you can launch one I'm up by enough to where I'm willing to go for it at this down distance. This looks like man coverage. Probably try to hit Watkins on the drag. If they blitz heavily, I'll go Hollis. Kind of it. Oh, no, he's got Dot Man. Damn it. Watkins really wasn't open either. He had two guys on him. There was maybe a spy. Fourth and five. So let's have a look at. Let's just do PA read flow. Let's get Watkins up here. Back in the gun. There are linebackers in the zone. Look at that. You can't see the dot from this angle. They're trying to hide it. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, no. Dude, he just ran right in. I had no chance. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Well, we had to go for it. If it was a closer game, I would not have done that. All right. Let's see if we can lurk another pick with uh, Darren Smith. Brown. Lines up with three receivers on we'll keep playing man because I just got destroyed last time. Oh no, get off the block. And down he goes at the 44. Mm. That's a 10 yard gain. Is this how this is going to be? Second I turn it over on a bad fourth down and then they just go right for a touchdown. Is that how it's going to be? Oregon State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Across the middle. Get that. Oh, darn it. Well, I bit on the uh, play action. Look like the linebackers I bit. Guilty. I didn't even know the quarterback had the ball. That's worth a yard. Line. Yeah, same here. Oregon State goes with the ace set here. On the ground with the oh no. Okay. I'm glad that guy got caught from behind. Because I I have visions of of filling that getting into that hole, but then I got absorbed in the ball by 67. Let's run that again. Second down. Actually, this could be a good play. Yeah, let's do it. Let's all the cover to you. See if we can get him to throw at me. Oregon State comes yep, yep, yep. Okay, here we go. Bring it on. No, they hand He's it off. To the right. He's hit and got Come away. on. Brought down at the 10. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job. They're pretty committed to the run, actually. With it, 15 yeah, it carries, 52 friend. yards, something also, like that. A nice read by the ball carrier to find that running line. Okay, and last time we got a pick like that, in man coverage. The last time we were in a man coverage in the end zone, I should say we got a pick. Oh, get there. Be nice. It falls incomplete. So they're unable to connect. That could have been six if that pass would have been a little bit better. I'm going to blitz. I'm going to blitz. We'll send a dude. Let's send. Uh, I want to send the impact linebacker, but uh, I want I want Darren Smith to be in the deep coverage. So we'll stick with this. Oh, we oh no. Okay. <laughs> so I go for the pick. Doesn't quite happen. I get taken out of the play. Somehow I work over for the tackle. I thought he was just going to run in for a touchdown. That freaked me out. This is interesting. Let's do this. I'm actually going to run cover two man and just bring everyone up. I think I can stop him if they try to run it here. We'll find out. Ah! What even happened? I feel like I'm lucky that I didn't get pass interference. So this guy goes for the pick. We kind of three stooge ourselves out of any potential getting hands on the ball. Joseph could have maybe stuck a paw out, but, you know, he just decided to hacky sack it. Field goal. Okay. Let's, we, we've been trying this. Let's see here. 
Give me a blitz. It's fourth and goal. They'll line this up. Actually, let's blitz here. Right? The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. Late the kick is up, and the field goal is good. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. So, I, well, what kind of offense do we even have? Like 180 yards or something? It can't be that good. 186. That's bad. And this one's away. McMillan takes it at the eight. Ooh. We tried. A confident defense heads out onto the field after stopping this offense on a fourth down attempt the last time they were on the field. And the last thing you want to do is to come out and do nothing again and give them even more confidence. Number 16 with three wide receivers drops back on first down. And it's caught. Oh, darn it. Couldn't get anything. Black speed, dude. When we get Waller back, it's going to make a big difference. It's going to be quite nice. Let's run tight end drag. I haven't run this yet today. And I feel like this against this secondary, I could probably push this downfield a bit. Maybe Nick McMillan. We'll just have to see here. Fresno State lines up in a shotgun set. Look at the throw. Oh goodness. Oh no! He, it's just the windup took ages, and of course he's freaking hurt. Damn it! And I don't want to throw on the run, so I don't. And. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we got arm talent. We got million dollar arm and we'll say freshman level uh, brain right now. We won't be too harsh on him. Okay, if this, if the dot, if the left dot linebacker blitzes, I'll go Hollis here. He doesn't, we'll go Harper. Wow, yeah, I, you know, and I saw that coming from a freaking mile away. The, uh, and that was third down? I didn't even realize, shoot. But yeah, I saw a dot man coming in like a homing missile. Go spread punt. And Still waiting for someone to Fresno go for the block. Away. All out block hasn't happened in a while. I miss it so. Jones, the return man. He gets it off. Jones fields it at the 42. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. No injury report on McDade yet. No. So, did my run commit do anything? So, I'm thinking it's about here that I run commit. Yeah, they actually do swarm, but then they all just swarm right in the blocks. Seven yard run when I run commit. That's with the 4 3. They line up the 49. Second down. Hmm, that doesn't look good. We'll just play left side. I don't want to flip it. With a nice play fake. He throws nice. It. They can't connect incomplete. We get one back. Four wide. Let's let's just do it like a zone of the blitz here. He sure did. There was no way he was gonna let that receiver catch that one. They come out in a nickel. I'll give up the run. They'll run for the first on third and short. A little juke. Brought down in the open field. And they get a nice gain on third down. Remember when we talked to the coach? He mentioned that he wanted to run the ball against God, the we have, we and lost yards in the last possession. Some success. Well, they had some success on that play. I wonder if McDade's back already. I wonder if we didn't get a little pop-up for him because he's already back. Yeah, he's already back. Grant comes away with two yards on the carry. Second they line up at the 34. The it's second yard. down. So this is kind of d uh, opposite of what usually happens. Usually I have a medium first half, stellar second half. The He's going to take off. And down he goes at the 19-yard line. Can this guy run a little bit? I know they benched the starter. A little bit, I guess. Uh, spy goal, why not? And we take a quick look at the I feel like a spy is also good against the run, too, so we'll roll with that. 
The kicker got them points on their last red zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points. Get there. Damn it. And this will be caught. Touchdown. Oh, oh man. Mike Riley says go for two. For a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught him very well. They're going for two. And here's their success rate so far this season. Wow, they get it more often than most teams in the country. Just great play calling. Oh, we're trying to jump up. Conversion. And now we'll take a so look let's at the see. Okay, that's not, they're not doing onside yet. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He so I think I'm feeling some Pia Reed flow. That way we have a more viable run option. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the, they had ball. the ball before? Exactly. It was three out so fast they had to ask for slow bowl replay. They've outgained me now. Fresno State sets up with four receivers. Looks. Rolls to the left. Let's take off. And now he's going to run. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down with a step mark. Nice. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. Second and one. Second down and around one to go. Let's Ball on their own 45. Yeah. Going with the shotgun here. Let's see. If I run this down a bit, this might be the last play of the half. Ah, it's like 20 set, five second play clock, so probably not. He drops back. Looking. Number 16. McMillan. Yes. He drives a stiff arm, and he's tackled in the open field. Nice play there to pick up the first down. Kirk, that was quite an acrobatic catch. They don't get much better than that. No doubt. He did a great job of getting up in the air, ignoring the defenders, and coming down with the one ball. One yard after catch. You could just leave that off. If it's only one yard, Number you could probably just not show the gun. Back to pass. Looking. He guns it to the get that. Oh, get it. <laughs> Dude, that had all the fixings of a uh, warp over for a touchdown on the act. That was a crisp pass by the quarterback. They're looking pretty good moving the ball right now. First and ten. Ball on the 23 yard. We'll run this. They'll work from the shotgun. Let's see. Do one of the linemen move first? Weird. Sides. That might do it for the half. So I'm not sure if the clock will run. I bet that one has the fans yeah, steaming. Uh, that wasn't a very bright play. All right, we're moving. You can bet that the fans aren't the only ones on here. We're about to get a hopefully a three-score lead, whether it's by field goal or touchdown. They're inside the 20. Fresno State lines up in a shotgun set. Defense looking for his first incompletion. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, I screwed up the user on that so badly. What did I do? Tackle at the eight-yard line. Oh, I just don't get an animation. I get, do I hit the button too early? I really don't know. I'll take that, though. How about that we got one, one more rack, a yak pass, guard. A good catch, and they are keeping the defense off balance okay. by throwing on first down. Absolutely right. First and goal. Ball on the eight-yard line. Fresno State lines up with three receivers. Oh, Looks, rolls to the right. Probably just run it in. Nah. They line up a few feet from the goal line. We've got second and goal. So let's see. I think instead of a streak, I'll have Harper run it in. Drops back to pass. Ah. There we go. That kind of play is a tough one to stop, guys. You, know, you think you got everybody covered, then all of a sudden, putting six points on them. But those things drive a defensive coordinator crazy. When the quarterback takes off running, the defense can... So there, finally a good drive where we just march down the field and score. That time, it was the quarterback. Because I think the other ones had been set up from turnovers. And he adds the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. And he got all of this 
one. Great kick. Jones fields it in the end zone. Oh, is this going to be the fake? I think this was supposed to be the fake. Yeah, since they're back. Or, I mean, fake or reverse. There's a fake and a uh, reverse and a reverse. I think reverse. And the running backs are finding all the holes. It's not broken. Don't fix it. I agree. I think they're going to keep pounding it in there until this defense can stop it. Single set back for you. Brown with a nice play fake. Surveys the field. He's looking for a man in that. It's tipped. Ooh, incomplete looking. pass. Coach, I'm going to switch to cover two, I think. He sure just did. That. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. So that Cold will make it blitz second down. and an audible out here. Second, second and ten. Ball, ball on the 20. 20-yard line. The Bulldog. Line up in a nickel back. Looking. Brown Ooh. delivers. <laughs> How did we not get our hand on that? Wow. What in the heck? Oh, well. Unfortunately, that part of the helmet is holographic in 2007. Uh, it's going to go down as a drop, my friend. Uh, a very frustrating drop. I like the play call. Yeah, they've dropped a lot of passes today. It's funny how the CPU seems to drop a lot more than, than my guys do. Brown drops back. He's going to oh, take off. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Smith. Brings him down at the 32 yard Pretty nice awareness there. Also, it takes me a while to recognize that he's Boy, defense a breakdown here. Good defense. They had everybody covered, but they left the quarterback with a lot of running room. The key word is but. Good defense, but. You got to keep your eye on that kid. The defense sets up in the nickel. Brown tosses to the left side. <sighs> okay. Wow, I worked over. I did kind of a magic carpet rotation. Very nice. Jones comes away with two yards on the carry. So that'll make it second down. Second they line up at the 34. On the second down, yard eight line. yards to go. There's a shift by the linebacker. Brown drops back to pass. Looks. Right there. Oh, look at that. Edwards, it's another pick. That's two. Nice interception right? and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This or wait, he had the tip. He had the tip in the end zone. Over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. Well, according to him, he threw down a dunk in the high school basketball game. It was the play of the week on all local news stations. You know what's funny? I didn't get that in any of my notes, but you know what? I'll take your word for it. Surveys the field. He unloads it. Oh, look at that. Walden. Man's game. Look at the muscle. Yard line. And that reception put him over 100 uh. yards on the day. Well, this guy <laughs> he took some both. Have, have a sit, you two. Numbers, they usually don't have much success Goodness. with the football. And that's why he's so valuable to this football team, Kirk. He's a big-time college football player. First, First ten. down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Yard line. Okay, dots on the left. McMillan should be able the to get ball loose ball. on that Not linebacker if that's who's guarding him. Oh, good. Ah, damn it. He rolls out to the lane. Oh, he keeps it. Uh, McDade. Let's go. So I could have gone to McMillan over here. He didn't, wouldn't be able to do much. And a big gain on a quarterback scramble. Easy play there. The receivers run the defenders off, and all the quarterback has to Triple QB option. What are the odds this actually works? This is run left. Don't forget about the awareness of the quarterback. Okay, I guess we're not doing that because their guy's in the zone. Oh, we can keep this. Lines up in the shotgun. There we go. There we go. Get in. Oh, stretch it out. Yes. <laughs> oh, it was an eight-yard fall forward, but it was at about a uh, ten-degree angle. Very shallow. We rode the hypotenuse into the promised land. Yeah, you can bank on one broken tackle. Boom. There we got that. Oh, so we avoided actually getting hit by that dot man. Look at this. Harper. Saving the day. Because he's in the zone, too. Their dot man's in the zone. That's probably a big hit if he gets a hand on me. Instead, we get the uh, long fall forward to, uh, to glory. And they're lining up for the PAT. So is that, is that six interceptions today? Seven interceptions? Six. And he tacks on the extra point. Over five. Let's have a gander. Five interceptions. We got sneaky hands on D, you know, what can I say? Looks like they're ready for the kick. Lined up for the kick he got all of that one. 
Jones fields it in the end zone. They've been getting walloped all day, but at least they're still working hard. I'm thinking one more drive, and then we call it. They'll get the ball here at the 19-yard line. Also, I'm going to try to not tackle anyone with Darren Smith. I'm only in here to get picks. I said I wasn't going to try to tackle anybody. Joseph tackles him at the 24. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. They line up at the 24. Second down and five. Looking to throw. He delivers. Oh, and that one's too late. Incomplete. And they're out of bounds. But as a receiver, you really need to be aware of the sideline at all times. You know, all you can do here is practice. Practice, practice, and eventually that sideline will become a sixth sense for you. Five DBs on the field. Drops back to back. Steps up. He looks. Oh, yep. it go. I took the inside guy. Wow, another drop. Look at that. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this. Okay, we're going to, I think, let this bounce so we can get more offensive yardage. Ready to put this one away. And we're also going to just try to pass or hand off, not run with McDade, not Kendrick take hits with McDade. The snap. He gets it away. Uh, let's let that go. Calls for the fair catch. Of course, it runs back, bounces back like 10 yards. And they'll down it at the 50. That's how you and know we have full momentum meter. A touchdown. They did a great job moving the ball on the ground. Let's see what they can do here. Okay, it looks they'll like zone. At midfield. So actually, Hollis might get open here. Fresno State Just comes to the line with three wide. Up the process a bit. Drops back on first down. He's looking. Number 16. Throws Look at that. There. With the spin. We tried. And he is drilled at the 30. Talk about a throw. Does this kid have an arm or what? I'm telling you. This thing is like a laser beam coming out of his hand. Boy, you're right. What a cannon this young man's got. Halfback sub. Oh, right. I always forget about that. There we go. First from the 30-yard line. Ball on the first down. Yard line. Number 16 with four wide receivers. <laughs> Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Maybe a few, but that's it. Second from the 28-yard line. It's second down and eight to go. Look the zone. He might be able to hit Dean the over the middle here. Back to back. They don't really park the seas like I thought. Victor Dean. Right side. Number 16 guns it. And nice. they make the stop at the 12-yard line. He looked like he threw that one about as hard as he could. Now sometimes you have to. You've got to make sure the defense can't get to it. Yeah, I'll go and see what we do. On the throw just like he did there. I'll tell you what. That ball looks like a missile with laces. Hawkins, Hollins, McMillan, and I mean, man right would make out. it easy to McMillan here. Look at the throw. It is man. Looking nope, nope, it's not. Ah, oh, darn it. He'll it's got a bounce. Number 16 with the carry. Nine-yard gain on the play. They're Second at the three. Ball. Second and short. Okay, this has to be a handoff. I just, I don't want to get hit with Big Dade. They necessarily set up the shotgun here by the goal line. Keep an eye on the quarterback. I wouldn't be surprised to see a draw here. Goodness. That, did he like teleport through the offensive lineman to get that? Oh no, I got in between. I, I said, may I cut in? They obliged. They didn't hit me with that. Smoke HB, this is good. Yard line. Ball on the Third down. Yard line. Watkins, Hollis, Dean. Fresno State sets up with four receivers. Let's go, Hollis. Oh, no, not a good pass. Okay, we got the first. I mean, I feel like it wasn't a good pass. That's not uh, – I don't have great reasoning behind that, but it just felt like he should have had more room to scurry into the end zone. So we have two dot men to the left. Shotgun formation. This might Let's be manual counter. Run the draw here. Or just run with it. And it pays off. <laughs> Get big hit into the end zone. Welcome to the Pac-10, McMillan.
Yeah, let's go ahead and sub out. Well, uh, oh, you know what? Darren Smith has two picks. We can we can sub everyone out. Gidry is waiting for the snap. And he hits the PAT. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. And so in real life, Fresno State season, is lined up to kick this one off. our season was not the best. Ended on a sour note against New Mexico, who Jones. I did not Here's think was that good. Guys, but they were riding the, the uh, momentum of the having defeated Wyoming yeah, coach, for the first win of the season. And they proceeded to, to beat us, McGuire. Oh, yeah, we're kind of thin at corner. I forgot about that. Throw short, and it's caught. Excellent open field tackle. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice Second throw. Second down, oh, four yards to go. Oh, I got stuck. The Bulldog line up with six defensive backs. Jones on the hand. Oh, what happened there? Tackle at the 31. Sidestep. That run gives him the first down. You know, in a media conference a couple of days ago, the coach right, talked about how ten. important it was for them to establish the running game. Let's see if this helps them open up the passing game any. The Beaver have three receivers bunched. Throws Got that. Hunter. And that's the second two picks. Come away with one on defense. Hunter's yeah. good, man. It's definitely going to be a drop off from Darren Smith. He's not as fast, but Hunter can play. Dude makes an impact. They'll start at the 44. So let's see if we can get some garbage yardage. I would like to hit 400. Is that even on the radar? It actually is. Okay, we have 341. So 400 is definitely in question. Fresno State lines up with a shotgun set. Now gets the ball. <laughs> Where did the wood home? Brings him down at the I'm throwing it to uh, the right side, Watkins. <laughs> Carter, is he even an eligible receiver? I guess he was on a delay route. We just got super lucky there. That reception good for Bizarre. four yards. Second and six. Ball on the forty-eight yard line. Fresno State lines up with three receivers. Mill back to pass. He looks. Goodness, dude, just he people rolls are not getting open. Right. Looks like he's gonna run. Dude, I tried to slide. I don't know what happened. So game. did I have anyone here? Like no one, kind of. He so here, I could have thrown it nothing. to, I guess, Didn't Victor Bean right here. See some green in front of him. It takes Bean. off. Yeah. Ends up with a great run. Let's try this. A screen. First to make down, one. Ten to go. On the, the way they're bunching it up looks promising. So let's try to roll left. Mill back in the gun. Draw the defense away from him. Maybe. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. He rolls left. He throws the screen. And it's caught. Tried to He's spin. At the 35. Nice For how there, much yeah, room he had, it's like kind of a disappointing result. Short passes. Safe it takes some ages to get going upfield. It's like a turn, yardage. turn, turn, do -si do Let's go here. We'll cheese it up now. Ooh, actually, double whip looks more fun. There you have it, folks. Your I was about to run curl flats. The game. They really earned it McDade there, almost hit 100 yards running. Four total touchdowns. We'll take it. It's pretty good. Fresno State. Lines up with a shotgun. Okay, I might be able to just run up the middle. Mill, uh, we tried. We thought about it. We'll do it. He's rolling right. Okay, slide. Off. There we go. Slides down to the ground. He decides to tuck it in and picks up the first down. A first down, and I tell you what, now he's got this defense conscious of his mobility. And when that happens, just watch. He's not as fast as we did. Only 80 speed, which is good. But you're not really going to run away from people quite as much. Oregon State has all their DBs in for this five wide set. I do. Just the placement of the pass is just baffling here. I'm trying to lead him. He throws very behind him. But then we get an advantageous uh, animation to take him behind. We get a spin. Yeah, that was that was pretty interesting. The pressure turns up when in the red zone. And that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. 
Mill, back to pass. He's been perfect on the uh. side. There he goes. How close are we to 400? I don't think we're going to make it on this drive. 385. We're on the 12. Hmm. Can we uh, take, like, let's just test this out. We have 385 total yards of offense. If we let, if we take delay a game, does that uh, does that reduce our offensive no our offensive yardage? Let's find out. Here's the call from the referee. Ball. All right, let's look. Possibly some miscommunication. It didn't. We still have 385. So there we go. A touchdown gets us to 400 now. From the 17-yard line. It's second down and nine to go. McDougal on the on the corner. We might want to do that. In a four-wide set. It's man. Kinda. McDougal. No, that's bad. Oh. <laughs> That was kind of dumb. Not a smart pass. He thought he could squeeze it in there. I just didn't get the hop. And the next time he does that, he better be ready to make a tackle. He'll pick him off if he's not careful. And this play is number eight on the drive. So here I think we just – God, it's McDougal on the corner again. So it's Dean or McDougal. Man, it's McDougal. Zone is Vicar Dean. Okay, it looks like zone. Damn it. Oh, dude, freaking hell. What the hell happened? So we had to maneuver just to get a proper blocking, and then we just still didn't have proper blocking. Mill doesn't like what he sees. Mill, back to throw. Looks. Victor Dean, get me, baby. Get me, Dean, get big. Yes. Dude, I did not think he was going to come down with that. And we don't have to bother with the extra point either. That's nice. And I'm going to tell you what, Kirk. This has been a dominating effort. These guys came to play today. and they Got our 400. Perfect game. Well, no question, Coach. Everything just fell into place out there, and nothing was going to stop these guys. Apologies to the Beavs for running up the score. I just wanted to get the 400. You guys know I'm not typically running up the score. Coach, I just do things for little odds and ends, like kicking a field goal for inside 20 Fresno to State preserve red zone percentage, etc. And there, I just wanted to get 400. That was all. They've got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. So good game, pretty much wire to wire, uh, largely because of our defense. The offense wasn't that hot in the first half. 402. Yeah, I just like seeing the four up there. That's much more satisfying. All right, McDade ended up with pretty good stats passing. 220, two touchdowns, no picks. 96 running, two touchdowns. Okay, four touchdowns total. That's really nice. McMillan, I'm liking this trend a lot. It's too bad Victor Dean, he's not getting as much action. But, hey, on the end season stats, he might still be number one. But McMillan and, uh, and Harper are closing in. Harper didn't get too much action, though. No catches for Harper, one drop. That's too bad. But McMillan's a beast. It's, it's fun playing with him. He's super fast, agile. Darren Smith with most tackles. Most action. Good stuff. So we will check the visits. We will check the Heisman. And the Chiruo meter. The suspend o meter. Is that our highest score of the year? Nope, we scored 57 against Nebraska. Oh, we host USC, that's big. God, they're 10-0 still, that's awesome. That would be, still be so fun if it's undefeated versus undefeated. I really hope that's the case. I wonder who USC plays second to last. Hey, we got our two guys. Hometown hero, Brad Hayden, Wayne Cronin. Awesome. USC, you know, I want to see who USC plays next. Oh, they play Cal, damn it. I hope they beat him. I was just really hoping that it was somebody easier. So they play Cal still. Also, USC's got the gauntlet themselves. They have us and Cal. Yikes.
The new favorite. Oh, is he number one? He's number one, McDade. What a beast. Straight out of Greenwood. Pretty good for his first year as a starter. 69% completion. Seven picks, man. It should be like four. I threw, what, four in a game? That was my outlier. Two catches, 30 yards, one touchdown. Looking pretty good. Yes. Hopefully this pans out. I'm excited. Hunter honored. Oh, because he had two picks. All right, so let us check other recruits. Actually, we... Oh, nobody's left. So we lost a couple of guys. A couple of guys fell off, and that's fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six guys committed. That's pretty good. Three star. So five three stars and a four star. And our four stars from hometown. That's how we like it. That's what I'm going for. All right, let's check out the program standards. Nothing. Okay, we get Waller back. Oh, I'm so glad. Waller's good. Isn't he like a 90 overall or something? Yeah, he's really good. I'm excited. I'm excited for that. That was week 12. Okay, so we should have a development cycle as well. McDay, 90 overall, plus four awareness. I, I get mixed up on whether these are pre-existing conditions or whether that's new, the plus. Waller, Hollis. Okay, I feel like Hollis gained. I don't think he was an 86 before. And look at McMillan. 74 overall true freshman. Start out as a 70. He's really developing. Reed coming along. Not that we used a fullback. Josh Harper, McMillan, Victor Dean. Also, if Harper doesn't go pro, which he probably won't, that's not great. Uh, he doesn't have great stats, so hopefully he doesn't. Wow, what a fall off from last year. Much different offense, though. Maddox, wait, did anybody else get down here again? Michael Carter, wow, dude, these t my receivers are stacked. Like, what if these guys come back? Harper, he's potentially like a 93 or something as a, as a senior. Then you have Lee Watkins and Michael Carter. They're already 86s. They're going to be pushing 90 as, uh, as redshirt um, juniors. Even this guy's developed, and he hasn't done anything. Does he have a tackle or something? Nope. So I, meaning he maybe plays on... Uh, Punt coverage or something. Haas looking good. Maddox looking good. These guys are all developing. DN. So as far as potentially having an impact DN next year, Sullivan, six sacks, four sacks. Hopefully one of these guys are still in because I want to make one of these guys impact and control D-line next year. My D-tackles are looking good. You know, shoot, we could go D-tackle. It's not as fun because you just they can't really move as well. Like, look at this. 84 speed. I mean, you can do so much with that. 84 speed, 6'7". Although Sullivan has better agility and acceleration, just not the top end. So really either one. He has less awareness. He has a higher potential then. Okay, everybody's looking good. Cunningham, is he even... Like, when does Cunningham get to start? The dude is a flying missile. I guess next year, David Joseph will be uh, graduated by then. Brad Wilson looking strong. 85 overall true sophomore. Okay, Shannon Edwards. Yeah, we have a big fall off down here. We're not as deep at corner. 
Goolsby, Webster. Those guys have some speed. Six picks, three picks. Do we have double digit picks with Darren Smith? We do, 13. He just hasn't gotten his hand on the ball as much. Look at that, only 10 pass deflections. They just haven't thrown to me. It's nothing he's done. They just straight up have not thrown to me. Muse, McDougal. Oh, how's Hunter? Hunter plus three, he's an 89. He's 88. I thought he had 88 speed. I swear they're gaining speed and I don't notice. He must have gained it in the offseason. I swear he had 88 speed before. David Muse looking strong. So we're strong at strong safety as well. Good times. That'll do it for this video, guys. So next time, we're going to play Arizona State. Thanks for watching. This has been a fun one. Awesome defensive effort. I'd like to get more offensive yardage, but hey, we're going to take, we'll, we'll take the team effort. Our goal right now is win the championship. It's championship or bust. It'll just, it'll just be really disappointing if we don't win out. And at least go to the Natty. Like, if we go to the Natty and Arkansas is just ridiculous and they really punch us in the mouth and blow the doors off of us with some just total studs, that's one thing. I le we at least want to get to the championship. Well, that'll do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And hopefully the last two games of the season will be streamed and the uh, bowl game as well. So look for that on Twitch. And we will see you then.